Hello and welcome to Pop Voice. I'm your host, Delaney Fischetti, here at Studio 73 with Suffolk Voice Arts and Entertainment Editor Will Heffernan and Voice Writer and Regular Pop Voice Panelist Joe Benjamin. Today we will be discussing what is hot this summer, the Kimye vs. Taylor feud, and our most anticipated movies for this um upcoming year. Let's kick it right off with what's trending right now. So I think it's impossible not to talk about Pokemon Go. Oh, like, gosh. what's going on? I'm walking down the street and like, Normally, we see people on their cell phones all the time. Right. But like yeah. now, it's so bad. Yeah, I've like, seen people running on Tremont Street, holding their phones, just trying to catch a Pokemon, like a Pikachu or whatever else they. It's insane. They have. Like yeah. I was walking through the common the other day, and I'm like, "What's going on?" Like there was like packs and packs mm -hmm. of people just yeah. on their phones. I'm like, "This is like a Twilight Zone. This is what like our ancestors warned yeah. us yeah, about. Exactly. People are obsessed with their phones even more than like normal." Yeah. It's so, like, do you guys play it? No, because I don't want to get addicted to it. Yeah. Because um, the other day I saw probably 50 people in that group, and I, I yelled Pikachu, and everyone <laughs> ran to that spot, and I regretted it, but, you know, it's yelling. It's, it's like it's, yelling bingo. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, no, it's you know. so bad. Like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I downloaded it, but, like, then I realized how much stuff that you have to, like, you have to put, like, sign in with Google, and I'm like, I'm not about that. Yeah, I, right. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't have it either. I was like, I'm not going to. I'm, I already look at my phone enough, so I don't need another excuse to mm -hmm. look down for yeah. 24 hours, plus too much data, and your boy is broke. So oh, yeah. <laughs> it's insane. I can't insane. really afford the, the data plan. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I get it. Like, it's bringing back, like, our childhood memories. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, like, enough is enough. Like, there's fights on it. There's, like, it's insane. Like, it's, yeah. it's really crazy. Yeah. I mean, it is doing something good. It's getting people outside. But mm -hmm. then again, like, it's causing more and more accidents because mm -hmm. now there's a saying don't pokemon and drive which <laughs> it's and that was only after two weeks which is really sad yeah, like, yeah. it's causing more accidents it's yeah. causing more uh fans to play pokemon go rather than going to a concert for example like it was a i saw a video at a beyonce concert and a girl was playing pokemon go right right when uh, beyonce was performing like you spend so yeah. much money on those tickets and i know yeah. rihanna like yelled at a fan for playing pokemon go during her concert too which yeah. i would yeah like seriously. you're spending so much money like live life like <laughs> like watch the concert exactly. yeah. <laughs> I know. but speaking of concerts yeah are you guys yeah. excited for any upcoming concerts or have you been to any good ones this summer um yeah well Demi Lovato and Nick Jonas just performed last week. Mm -hmm. They were good. Um, Fifth Harmony is coming to Blue Hills Panka Pavilion this Thursday. I've heard tickets are really cheap. Um, yeah, Groupon 20, is selling them for 20 yeah, bucks. That's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of sad for them. Hey, but, it's good for us know. college students. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So um, that should be a fun concert. And um, a lot Fenway is holding Kenny Chesney and Zach Brown Band. Mm -hmm. I know they're also holding... Um, Kid Rock and Jason Aldean oh, too, which is gonna that, be yeah, awesome. That should be fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, actually, Kenny says he's performing at Gillette with uh, oh, the Luke Bryan. Okay. I went to yeah, I went to the Luke Bryan one. He it probably was, killed it. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. My, my very first country concert, so <laughs> I'm not too mad that I saw Luke Bryan, but he was it was really good. Um, there's been some couple, a couple of hip hop concerts like the uh, Tory Lanez, ASAP Ferg. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Uh, the Beyonce concert that was earlier uh, this month. It was. Yeah. Prime. Well, there's definitely stuff yeah. to look forward to. Definitely. Yeah. So don't go away. We'll be right back after these quick messages. to pop voice so it's getting harder and harder to keep up with the Kardashians but before we give you our opinion on the feud between Kim and Taylor let's see what other people have to say 
Hey, I'm Joe. I think this whole Kim and Taylor Swift controversy is crazy. I think I'm on Team Kim. Let's see what other people think about the whole situation. I'm on Team Keep This Going. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. But uh, I was Team Taylor for a while, but now more of it's coming to light that she may not be what she seems. So now it's interesting. It's a lot of plot development, character development. I'm enjoying it. I'm um, Team Swift because I like Taylor Swift more. Um, I didn't really pick a team because I just... I actually kind of think the whole thing's a little ridiculous and I'm kind of tired of hearing about it. <laughs> I don't know because like I feel bad that Taylor lied but like I don't think Kim should have recorded it because that's illegal so I guess I'm on Team Kim because I... Team Kim because she's a private journalist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know Taylor Swift is like a liar or whatever. I feel like it's ridiculous. I think it's hilarious. Why do y'all think that? You know what, because one thing is, is that Taylor Swift, she came out when that song dropped and everything, and she went up against Kanye and she was like, you know, this is my success. And she played like the, the victim role. When the thing is like, they spoke about it weeks prior to the song actually being released. Even if it said one part that was bad, the thing is, is like, you still spoke about it, you still gave your word, and then you're trying to downplay and just throw a person under the bus. It's messed up. So it seems as if no one's really siding with Taylor on this one. Joe, what's your take on the feud? My take, my perspective is that I'm team Kanye and Kim all the way. I think Kim is a new private journalist uh, <laughs> in the field, and I respect that because the way that she found Taylor Swift, you know, not pl not playing the innocent card anymore, mm -hmm. I liked it, and it's about time that people realize that Taylor is not the little innocent girl that everybody thinks that she is. <laughs> well, how about you? Um, you know, I'm, I had to side with Taylor just because I feel like she's definitely more mature in this whole situation. Um, and for the haters, I just had to say one thing, you know, the haters gonna hate. Um, <laughs> so basically, yeah, I had to go with Taylor Swift. Yeah. So my one thing, I'm kind of neutral on it, but the one thing I have to say is like, do you think Eminem or like any of the big rappers ever called someone they were gonna talk about in their song like you know, no I think that Kanye kind of really did have her back for this one and for her to play that card like the Grammy speech was completely directed to yep. him so uh, I just think yeah. we're just gonna have to wait and see and see how it all unfolds Taylor is petty <laughs> Kanye is very sincere alrighty closing words <laughs> so we're going to take one more break but when we return we're going to discuss our most anticipated movies for 2017 Sure, I look cute now, but when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this Cocker Spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self. And I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. Welcome back to Pop Voice. So there are some big movies coming out in 2017. So Will, what are you most excited for? Uh, well, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, I think it's their fifth installment coming up this next year. Um, I can't wait for that because, you know, Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow is just priceless. Mm -hmm. You know, ha must see. Um, One of his best roles. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, and then also Cars 3, which, you know, everyone's Pixar, one is, you know, most of everyone's Pixar favorite. Um, personally one of my favorites, mm -hmm. so I can't wait to see that as well. Um, as well as Pitch Perfect 3. Um, yeah. Anna Kendrick, I think that's how you say her name. Um, I, my she's, girl Rebel. Yeah, Rebel <laughs> Wilson too, I, I love her. So all good movies next year, I think, so. Definitely, yeah. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. How about you, Joe? Definitely a lot of superhero movies for me. There's gonna be some uh, Thor, some Spider-Man, which is my favorite superhero of all time. And on the DC side, it's going to be some Wonder Woman and Justice League. So it's going to be a good, good year for superhero movies. For Marvel, it's, it's, they're going towards the end of their uh, phase. Mm -hmm. And then D, uh, DC, they're right at the beginning. So yeah. it's just going to be a, about a good five films next year for superhero movies. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely excited for Wonder Woman. Some oh, girl yeah. power up in here. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. I'm also really looking forward to Beauty and the Beast. Oh, of course. I love Emma Watson, and yeah. it's just so cool to see like all those like childhood movies like mm -hmm. come to life, like Seriously, literally. Yeah. Like yeah. I really like Because it's been Cinderella, and then hopefully, yeah, now Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, they had like Beast. Alice in Wonderland, like all mm -hmm. that. So I think yeah. Beauty and the Beast will be really good. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, and I can't wait to see like 
you know, the magic and the costumes come to mm -hmm. life. Cause That's, like, like, the best part. Yeah, because, like, especially with the rose, like, I, I can't wait to see that those types of effects on the rose in yeah. the movie, so. And then one of my yeah. favorite movies of all time, or favorite movie series, Fast and Furious, mm -hmm. the, the eighth yeah. installment. I can't wait. It'll be interesting to see how they do it, though. Yeah, like, without yeah. Paul Walker, mm -hmm. it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be weird because it's actually they can't digital enhance them like they did the last no. movie. Yeah, um, you know. So. And he didn't like like pass away in the last movie. He, right. It was, so yeah. it'll be interesting to see how they play him off. Yeah. Or if they do. I think I no. Know. I think they retired him last movie, and now they're just going on without him. Now. Okay. So uh -huh. it's just kind of be like, like the unspoken. Like huh. we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, huh. it's gonna be good. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, that should be interesting. Yeah. So, any other movies that you're looking oh. forward to? Um, Lego Batman should be interesting. I always love Lego yeah. things. Yeah. You know, they they always take a interesting sp spin on the movies, so it should be uh, funny. You know. Yep. Interesting way to watch it. So. so we better save up our monies because yes. we're gonna oh, be going to going to the theater. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for watching Pop Voice here at Studio Seventy Three. For more episodes, go to www.suffolkvoice.net and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at su underscore voice. I'm Delaney Fischetti. Thanks for watching.